Today's video is all about the clothes I wore for me made May week three and if you're interested stay tuned. Hi lovely people welcome to my channel Josie here and this is it is Josie I'm glad to have you back again thank you for whoever took off time to watch my previous videos of me made May roundup of week one and week two and for your lovely comments I was, they left me smiling and i'm glad to have you here and if you're new to my channel and you don't know what i talk about i share sewing related content so if you're interested please join the family by subscribing and also hitting the bell bu button so you're notified whenever i upload a new video and like you've read today's video is a roundup of my week three we made may close and i've recorded a roundup of week one and week two and i'll attach them in the cards either here or here I keep confusing which side they go to but a roundup i've already done a roundup of my water wolf we made may week one and week two and in week one i introduced what we made may is about i made a pledge to wear me made clothes here and there i might end up introducing in a bit of ready to wear to pair up with my me made clothes because i never most times if i make separate like trousers or skirts i never get that best talk to match up unless if I go into my ready to wear, but I'm deliberately wearing something we made me, a complete outfit of me made clothes, putting aside underwears, those most of them are ready to wear, but for clothes that are shown, I'm trying to do my level best where me made me throughout the entire month of May, and I'm giving myself a pat on the back that something I've been able to do, which I wouldn't have been able to do, which I wouldn't have possibly i've done the last two years i've taken part in me made me because it's over time that i've built up onto my me made wardrobe and it gives me a smile on my face that i can actually go a whole month wearing clothes i've made myself and without any repeats which is a bonus and a plus to me i'll take you through what i've worn for the entire week three of me made me and i'll start with day number 15 of me made me i wore the colette pattern monitor dress and this is a dress I made out of this gorgeous fabric, which was a recycled fabric from a big second-hand dress. I don't remember where I got it from, but I used it to make a wearable twirl, which turned out nice. And actually, I like the fit. And I didn't have to make so many alterations and adjustments, apart from taking out an inch in the bodice. It ended up falling on my high hip, which wasn't flattering at all. So I took out an inch. And I remember taking in a bit at the in the arm area it, it was a bit saggy around the arm area I just said that and I like the final fit yeah and then for day number 16 of me made me I wore I wore this the ZD jumpsuits by its paper theory patterns and I love how it all turned out. It's a gorgeous pattern, which I've worn loads of times. And I've gotten a number of compliments every time I've worn it. And I made it out of this African wax print tie and dye fabric. It's a gorgeous one. It's a yellowish, yellowish cream background and with brown dye. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. And something about this pattern I decided not to hack it whatsoever. I mean, I decided not to adjust anything and I sold it straight out of the envelope. And I made it as a multitude of fit issues. But the bit with the pattern, because it's quite busy, it disguises any issues that you would find overwhelming. So I reviewed this pattern, but not individually, but in one, I think last year's June makes video. I'll attach a video if you're interested. But I realized I needed to raise the bodice, take out some an inch in the bodice. The, the crouch ended up being quite low. So I, I adjusted everything on my pattern pieces that whenever I make my final fit, I treated this as a twirl, but a twirl that has been loved and I wear it a lot. And I, I adjusted the pattern pieces that whenever I ever decide to make another probably the final fit have all the adjustments made but at the moment i'm wearing it and actually i love it the pattern and the fabric disguises anything that probably will be prominent in a plain fabric then for day number 17 me made may i wore another african wax print dress and this is this gorgeous print i 
sent her the print while I was cutting it on the fold. I sent her this so that this image, this print, the diamond print, I think, that it lay in the middle. So I made sure that when I was folding it up, I made sure that the fold line was lying in between here, yeah, the middle part, so it fell on the right place. And also, this diagonal line lands, and this corner, these corners fall around my hip area, so they don't fall in the wrong place. I like the way everything was pattern matched. However, I wasn't so keen on the pattern I used, and the pattern I used is this new look K6090. I hope the camera focuses. I will try to attach a picture, but this is the new look, 69.95. However, the fit of the dress is supposed to be a free dress. And by the time I made this dress, I wasn't yet conversant about pattern fitting. I thought that a pattern should ideally fit straight out of the envelope because I was still new into sewing, making my clothes more seriously. I've been sewing for the longest time I can imagine, but sewing cushion covers, altering clothes without without making sensible clothes i'd made two or three but they had awful feet but i still enjoyed them because i'd made them myself so the time i got around to making this i just looked at the pattern recommendations the size for my measurements and i went straight and made that and by then i wasn't sure that you had to actually look at the finished garment measurements to help you determine which kind of ease you're happy with so i made it straight out of size 8 12 which was quite so big and probably this pattern starts from size 10, which would still have been big. So by the time I sewed it up, the fit was awful on me. So I went ahead and I remember I was sewing it in a day. I needed to wear it the next day to match up with my kids when I met them then. That was about three years ago. I used the same print to make matching clothes for my kids. But my Fit was awful, so I went, I, I went in and took it completely in, so it doesn't actually, it was so altered that it doesn't look like what the pattern should look like, because it's meant to be a free dress, I made it fitted. I did like the final fit, I wasn't so happy with the final fit, but I love the print so much that it covers all the, all whatever I did like about it, and remember it was still in my early years of sewing. And that was how I made that invisible zipper. It wasn't invisible at all, but it has a lot of unpicking and everything that went on. But it doesn't show as much. And now when I look back and I look at clothes with completed, neat, invisible zippers, I give myself a pat on the back because it just proves to me of how far I've come. And then we shall move on to day number 18. And for day number 18, I want this jumpsuit. a jumpsuit i'll attach pictures to each and everything i'm showing you and this is a jumpsuit which i made which i made using the simplicity 8178 pattern hope the camera focuses but if it does i'll try to attach a picture and i made this jumpsuit it comes with wide legs but i went for the narrower legs but don't be lied to by this pattern. If we if we've made a number of outfits from the big fours, we know they cater for a lot of ease. So when I made it still, it was still in the early stages of sewing. So the fit was not the very best because still I wasn't looking at finished garment measurements. I made it, it comes up a bit big, but because it's a jumpsuit and it has a busy print going on, disguises all that. I love it, it's quite comfortable. The fact that I've made it quite big. It's like secret pyjamas, but when you wear it, I, every time I've worn it, I've gotten a number of compliments. It's bulky, and I sold it out of a cotton poplin, and it's all right. Probably had I made it in a, a more flowy fabric like viscose, it would have fallen onto my body. It wouldn't have come up as a very big jumpsuit. However, it still looks nice on me, and I love wearing it. I love to apologize for the sun. The sun is getting brighter just in case it's brushing me up but i like this and i've worn it a few times i tend to pull it out in the summers as expected because you wouldn't do wearing cotton poplins for um, cotton poplin throughout even for the bottoms in the colder months and this uh, this is what i wore for day number 18 and day number 19 i wore the 
Nina Lee Camden skirt. I wore this Nina Lee Camden skirt, which I've already reviewed on my channel. This is a beautiful Camden skirt by Nina Lee Patterns, which I lengthened by two and a half inches. I reviewed this pattern. I won't go into details about it. I'll show you a picture of it here and I'll attach in the description box the review of this pattern should you be interested. It's a pattern that comes with a pinafore and the skirt and I've been able to have made both and I love this skirt. I reviewed it in detail. I love the bias binding I used over there and the interesting pockets. Still I've discussed all this in detail and I paired it up with an Ogden Kami in this mustard. Is this mustard orange honestly? I'm poor with my colors. No, I think it's an orange with this orange crepe viscose fabric. I don't know if you can see the texture, but it's in an orange, it's a viscose crepe fabric. I pair these two together and it matched really well together. I think the colors pair up really well. And this is what I wore for day number 19 of Me Made May. And there's nothing more to say about this. Because I've made a number of Ogden Kami's. I think I own about five. And I think I've made about five. I gave her one and I think I own four of them. And I've also hacked the pattern into a dress. So I've made lots of Ogden Kami's. And then for day number 20. And day number 20 was the very first time ready to wear. Appeared in my Me Made May. And I made this dress, this top. And this top has a lot of stories to it. It's made out of, I think it's a cotton lawn. It's a gorgeous fabric, which was gifted to me by Fabrics for All. It was the very first blog post I wrote for Fabrics for All, and it was the very first fabric they gifted me. I'll attach a link to that, to the Fabrics for All show, the recent restock new fabrics, if you're interested. Available online, their store is open online, so you can order Fabrics. I'll attach the link to it in the, at the bottom. And this is a cotton lawn and I made it out of a Bada style magazine. And it's a, it was a pattern, pattern number 103 from Bada, March of 2019. And it's, it's this pattern, I don't know if it's clear, I made this. However, I didn't put it back on the straps and that was the top. I know we can all accept if you've tried to trace out a body style magazine pattern, it's not the easiest. So if you manage to trace out one, that's one stage, step further, that you've managed to trace out something for that pattern, then later on sew up something. However, in all honesty, this was an easy pattern to sew, it has no closures whatsoever. So I managed to sew it up and I gave myself a pat on the back and I was honored to have my picture featured on the Bada Style Instagram page because I was talking about my experience sewing up my very first Bada Style magazine pattern. And I've sewed up a few more after that, so which is an exciting thing. And I, I'm falling in love with the Bada Style magazines. However, I realize now that I can't go into, my, into town to buy them from the WH Smith where I've always bought them from. I have to say now I've missed two issues, which is so sad. I missed the April and May issue, but I've signed up for a subscription for just three months. Probably that will give me enough time to get them to be able to access the shops and buy them. And then for day number, the last day of made of week three, that was day number 21, I wore this skirt. And this is one of my newest makes. And it's the Allegro pattern by Love Notions pattern. It's a pattern I hope to review soon. It's been re released. It's their previous pattern, but they're redrafting and, and changing a lot of feet with their new blocks of most of their old patterns. And this pattern comes in four vers seven versions. It comes with shorts of two heights, trousers and cap capri pants. Capri pants and ankle length pants, then jogger style woven pants, then for skirts they've got a knee length skirt and a ankle length skirt and I went with the ankle length skirt which features slits at the bottom on the side and actually I'll review it in detail and I sold it out of the crepe that was gifted to me by a friend of mine from South Africa, Zimbabwe, she had gone on holiday and she bought it for me, she doesn't sew but she gave it to me because she knows I love sewing. 
and i've worn it for a few times and this is a gorgeous pattern they've just released it i'll attach a link to the bottom and i hope to review it when i make something else from the same pattern because it's a bottoms pattern that features seven different variations honestly if you get that it's a win for you and i think that's my entire roundup i'm going to attach pictures and the links to in the description box of these patterns and of the clothes i wore for me made may week three and as usual i'd like to hear what you have to say about these patterns which patterns which outfits did you like most and which one probably has made you consider making something from those patterns tell me which patterns do you, you would rather you please let me know which pattern you'd want to try and which your best and which was your best outfit from all this and oh the one i paired up with ready to wear was this top that I wear over my black jeans. I've not. I'm yet to tackle jeans making. I know that's a gap in my wardrobe. I've not made many trousers, and that's something to look at. And probably also before I go on, I'd like to show you what I'm wearing. I'm coming to you from day number 22. We made May. I'm wearing the silvery silk kami, which I made out of this polyester fabric, paired with a pattern hack from this pattern. I have these trousers from this pattern like i've shown you i have them in two pants summer pants i'll attach a picture and i had a waistband for the front bit up to here a flat waistband and then a last elasticated waistband all around it still has the pockets i hacked it a few more times to get the best fit and i like how i paired both of them let me stand up and show you this is what it looks like it comes up to my ankle i love wearing these two together definitely with a necklace that matches the colors of the pants and yeah that's it with me made may dinner week three and i would like to maybe let you know that for week four it might come up a bit later i'll get up for the last three days that are out of the month out of the entire week of seven so the next time i come to you i'll be coming to you with outfits i think from for day for 10 days nine days 10 days to get up for the final week of me made may and if you've come this far and you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out whenever I upload new videos. And keep the conversation going by liking and commenting on this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.